Hi guys, I'll be doing a unwrapping of the 90mm carbon fibre frame from Banggood.com. It's uh, specifically targeted to very small micro quadcopters like uh, the bleeding duct tricks, kiski boards and stuff like that. So let's get it unwrapped and see what we've got inside and what we can do with it. Okay. First up, we'll get the main carbon fiber frame. Um, I'm guessing that is two millimeters thick, as it says in Banggood.com. Um, really stiff and strong. Um, now there was a bit of fuss over whether or not this uh, little frame can actually hold. 8.5 millimetre motors, 7 millimetre motors and uh, when I got mine in today I was wondering too because a lot of people on banggood.com were saying it did not and it would not take 8.5 millimetre motors so I have an 8.5 millimetre motor here and I will just wait a minute it went in earlier on there you go fits in perfectly. 8.5 millimetre motor does fit. Now, the frame is not exactly, it doesn't look the exact same as the one from Banggood.com because they have little rivets here so you could like uh, push the, the motor in that way and the wire would come out without being squashed in there but this one doesn't. So there might be different variations of frames. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, open this bag. You get quite a lot for your money, believe it or not. It only cost me £6.91. pounds. Say £7. Pound. Uh, that's uh, a couple of bucks for you guys. Cheap as chips. Right. We'll get your rubber your rubber feet for your motors um 8.5 definitely not gonna fit in there will it fit in the white one i wonder let's have a look it's a tight fit yep okay so i'm taking it uh the white feet of the 8.5 millimeters and the black ones of for uh, seven millimeter motors i do not have any seven millimeter motors so but they look to be uh let me have a look have a look here It's about seven millimeters. Yeah, the blacks are definitely seven millimeters. All right, so black ones seven millimeters, white ones eight point five millimeters. Um, surprisingly, you get so much stuff just for seven pound. You even get. Let's see what's in this little bag. I think it's some Velcro. Yeah. The bags are so tiny. Yeah, double sticky Velcro. So you can stick your boards, your cameras and whatnot. So that's good. So you can pick and choose what you want to use. 8.5 or 7mm. And you have spares. They give you spares as well. I've got what? I've got 6. So and I've got 2, 4, 6 again here. So they give you two extra, which is good. You have your little spacers uh, for spacing the little mount out. Let's have a look. See how much space you get in here. You won't get much at all. Not at all at all. I mean, if we were to look. I don't have a caliper, I'm afraid. I'm 
new to doing the unboxings and stuff like that. Uh, I should get round to getting one. That is uh, 9mm spacer. So you're going to get a 9mm gap in between there. And when you put the little top part on. That's plenty of room. Plenty of room. Plenty of screws and bolts. Plenty of everything, really. Um, right, I'm going to do some comparisons here. That's the Industrix uh, frame. I've only got the motors in it. I always rip the boards out. Now, you can see it's just, just a little bit bigger. So, I'm guessing it's going to be... Pretty good to put uh, to put the little Industrix um, board in there because we're also I'll get my little wash ten out which I've got here. This thing is very agile. It's uh, turns in a dime. Fast as hell. Uh, Eight point five millimeter motors on this. 200 uh, milliwatt VTX uh, 600 TVL CMOS camera from Banggood and it's got the Inductrix uh, board inside there um, so if better off turn it upside down you can see the comparisons really uh, between 90 millimeters and 110 um, so it's going to be a lot smaller. If I was going to take this wasp apart and put it in here, I've got quite a bit to do. And uh, I've been a busy man lately, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I don't even get time to fly my walker or uh, Rodeo 150 at the moment. So, uh, but there you go. It is really, really small. Really, really small indeed. Um, what I'll do is I'll piece it together just a little bit and uh, you can see what it looks like. Just uh, finishing off putting the frame together. Um, I figured out one thing along the way. Because I was struggling to... I don't usually do it this way, by the way. These plastic screws are a real tight fit in the top plate. I was figuring why I couldn't get plastic screws in the top plate and at the bottom plate at the same time. That's because they were hitting each other and they stand off. How silly am I? Anyway, figured that out with... And I'll show you in a moment. I'll just tighten this down. A little bit more to do a comparisons. Right. So look, get down there. Right. Well, basically down there anyway. Right, where are you? These little silver screws that you get, um, you want to put them up on the bottom because if you don't and you use the plastic ones. They're both going to hit into each other and you won't get them together. And you'll probably end up ruining the threads on it. So just be careful with that. I would use the metal ones at the bottom for the simple fact that it's not going to be near any electrical components that are at the top. Like your VTX and your camera and stuff. So plastic one at the top. Metal ones that you've got in the bag at the bottom. Um... Let me get that out of the way a sec. So, your comparisons would look something like this. And you go in here, Mr. 8.5mm motor. And another one. These are actually motors that don't work anymore. We all know about these brush motors that give up. But look at that. That's not. I mean, it's not that much bigger than 
than the inductor itself. You know, getting all these components into this is going to be fun when I get round to doing it. Um, I'll make it super fast, super agile with 8.5 millimeter motors. Um, hopefully, the board will fit in there. And I should be able to, uh, I'll need to get the VTX up here with the camera. Um, but it's getting round to doing it when I get the time. I've got so many things on at the moment. When will I get the time to do it? I do not know. Uh, but there you go. 2mm bottom plate, 2mm top plate, solid as a rock. It's a bit on the rough side, you could probably sand it down a little bit. Um, but for seven, basically seven pound, great British pounds, I think it's well worth its weight in gold. With all the little bits and bobs and screws and pieces that you get with it, you know, it's well worth the money. I'd recommend you to get it if you want to put a skisky board or just move your induction tricks over to that and make it really agile. I mean, compared to the Wasp 110, it's, uh, what well, I can't remember, is it one millimetres? That carbon fibre is, uh, but this is two millimetres. This isn't going to break at all. I mean, this will take some punishment. You know what I mean? Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, you know what you do. And uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be nice too, and you could see some nice videos. So I'll catch you guys later. All right, goodbye.